So this episode is very special to me. Yasin's been a dear friend of mine for a long time. I actually met him in the United States quite a while ago. And as part of what we're doing with Orchestra Gold, we've been supported by a huge, huge number of people. And Yasin has been one of those huge supportive forces for us, just lending his knowledge and wisdom and expertise and guidance really to me and Mariam as we've formed our group. So it's really natural that we interview him and kind of share a little bit of his wisdom with everyone. Pretty much every time I have a conversation with Yasin, I'm like, man, I wish I could record that. So that's that's really kind of what this is. Um, Yasin and I have been able to spend some time together here in Bamako um, over the winter of 2022. And we got a chance to connect and have this conversation and give him the opportunity to break down a lot of these different elements of Malian culture, music, and spirituality in this kind of holistic way. This theme that keeps coming up in his conversations with me are, is, excuse me, the sort of the importance of the Bamana language to understanding Malian culture and how a lot of wisdom is actually hidden away inside of the words and their meanings. And as all of our science is pointing to now, we live in a world where Africans were the first peoples. So it makes pretty logical sense to think about them as having knowledge that we in the West are only now catching up to through quantum physics and all these other things too. Um, this is the oldest part of the world and people have been here the longest and it makes sense that they've developed ways of thinking about things that we as white folks uh, don't necessarily have yet. I actually wrote down some questions that I thought would be interesting. Okay. If you want, or you could just talk. But one thing I think is interesting is that, mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of people, uh, when they talk about Malian music, okay. mm -hmm. um, think in Western terms about it, or mm -hmm. let's say American terms about it. Mm -hmm. They think about it in terms of, oh, is this rock? Is this blues? Is this jazz? Right. But how do, how do, you, how do Malians categorize or talk about their own music in your experience? Because it's like, it's interesting because here people don't categorize things. Mm. You know, music is defined here, for example, some music just bears the name of the instrument. Mm. You know, for example, you have the Kamalingoni, mm -hmm. you know, that plays a certain rhythm mm -hmm. that comes out of Wasalo. Mm -hmm. You know, and you have the Jilingoni, depending on where you are. If you are in the Mandi, you know, it's diatonic. Mm -hmm. If you are in Sigu, it's pentatonic, mm. you know. So music really follows different ethnic groups, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And that's why, I mean, it's like uh, the dean of Mayan music is Banzumana. Mm. The dean. The dean. The king. The king. Yeah. Because he played all of it. Mm -hmm. You know, he plays a diatonic scale, he plays also the pentatonic scale. Mm. And the thing about it is that he is able to, through him, we were able to capture songs that were written in the 12th, 13th century. Mm. Those songs were given from father to son, father to son, father to son. 800 like, years old. Yeah. Wow. I, I mean, it's like it's like some of the songs that were given to uh, Alexander the Great. Mm -hmm. So you know? people should check out Basmana Sisoko if they but, want to understand. Basmana Sisoko, but Basmana Sisoko is so raw that it sometimes is difficult to, 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 to understand it. Mm. See, I mean, we listen to Basmana and we still ask questions about what is he singing about exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing about Basmana language compared to other languages, you know, some uh, the European language, you can speak them in three years. Mm. Yeah. You know, and Bamana you speak it for a long time and you're still learning. Mm, you're still yeah. learning because it's, it's it's full of proverbs. Yeah. You know, and you have a lot of 
the old songs that were songs that had like a code man it's like you still have to figure out what it, what it is what it is is talking about mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so it sounds like when when people talk about music it's more just descriptive like just that's the, the instrument that's that, the that's the instrument because music here has you know music it's, a, it's an educational tool mm. it's an educational tool that's why we don't the word for music and the word for speaking is the same the word for music and the word for speaking is yeah. the same speaking folly music is called folly 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 and folly it's if you translate folly in english it's like speaking speaking right mm. speaking and it's interesting because for a long time people ask mm. what is the name for rhythm in bamana rhythm Rhythm is Dunkan. 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 Dunkan is rhythm. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean, little piece by piece? Piece by piece, piece by mean it means the voice of the Dunu. The voice of the Dunu. Right, but it's not talking. Mm. It's not talking about the Dunu because you hear the hunters when they sing. Mm -hmm. Dunkan, Dunkan. They don't use drums. Mm -hmm. You know, they they use the kalina. Mm -hmm. You know, but, but they call it Dunkan because mm -hmm. it's a rhythm. So, Dunungan is more like figurative, yeah. you're saying? Well, you know, it's like in Bamana, most 90% of it is figurative, man. It's mm -hmm. like it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's an image. 90% mm -hmm. of it is an image, you know, mm -hmm. it's like it. And, and I think, the, I mean, the richest music here is that of the hunters. Mm -hmm. Because the hunt, you know, the, the don't so, I shouldn't say hunters. Right, right? we so. talked about that, right? Yeah. Why, why shouldn't you say yeah. the hunters? Yeah, because. The hunter, you can go to a store and buy a gun and go hunt. You are a hunter. But right. to become a don't so it's a society. You have to obey by certain rules. You There's have to a lot have more a teacher. Mm -hmm. You know, they use divination, they use plants for healing, they are healers, they're diviners, and actually they are you know, those were the first people who were in charge of protecting the society. Mm. Providing meat and also protecting the society. They were the healers. Mm. You know, they go by uh, you know, it's like this um, combination of two things. It's like the mother and the child. Mm. You know, they don't address each other as, you know, it's like, hey, Eric, no. Mm. It's Eric and his mother. Don mm. Subana Di. Don Subana Di. Don Subana Di. Don Subana Di. The Don Su's mother and, his and son. son. Right. Everything is, everything is, is, is around that. Mm. Wow. It, it's one of the oldest society around here. So it seems like you're saying like genres don't really exist in in Malian music in the same way that we we would use them in because you know in 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 in, um, in this modern world people tend to classify everything right you know you have to classify it you have to classify it but that doesn't exist here yeah you know you have the, you have the sound of the wasalum which is very specific mm -hmm. which is different from the sound of the mandi mm -hmm. which is different from the sound of the beledu mm -hmm. which is different from the minyanka sound which is different from the Xenofo sound, you know, it's more like ethnic... Ethnic groups, ethnic, regions, I heard you saying some region, regions Regions, in there. right. Mm -hmm. Some regions are very specific, you know. Yeah. Some regions use pentatonic scales, some regions use diatonic scales, and some regions use both. Mm -hmm. You know, in Bamako you have everything. Right, right. Yeah, you have everything, right. Um, why do you think, of all the musics in Mali, why do you think griot music has become so popular? In, in outside of Mali, let's say. Because outside of Mali, people think that only the Creole do, does music because it's an old tradition. Mm. The word Creole even, should, we shouldn't be using it. We should mm. use the word Jali. Jali. You know, because the Creole is it's, it's a Western word. Mm. Creole is a Western word. It's a Western jelly word. Jali is the Bamana word. Jali is the Bamana word. And Jali means actually blood. blood. Jali means blood. Right. Giving blows because in the mundane society, in the society, it's like the society is like a human being. Mm. And so the role that it's, the blood plays in your body, mm. it's a role that the jali plays in society. Oh, wow, that's deep. Yeah, that's what it is. That's deep. You know, because if you have a conflict, they come and they, 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 they're, they're mediators. Mm -hmm. You know, they also know about your family history. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they know about the history of. Uh, the community, mm. you know, so they are considered to be like the owner of the world, the world. Wow. You know, there are several things that we have used here that is not really proper, like the word horon. Hmm. Horon. Mm -hmm. 
I heard somewhere it in Arabic, it has Arabic origin, but the way it is used here, they translate it as noble. Right, hold on, noble, Mes that's what people would say. No, yeah. but it's not the same. But it's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. The noble is an European concept. Nobles are landowners. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? They yeah. own land. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like here. No, here the word own has become symbol of integrity. 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 It's mm. like what he says is what he's gonna do. It mm. doesn't change the world. Mm. You know. Right. But you know, it's like one of the, one of the abilities. I hear of, people say, "Ibike horani." Ibike horani. You respect your word. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But the rule of the blood is to bring harmony into society. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So even if he has to bend the word, mm -hmm. two people can get along. He will do that. Hmm. So that's an interesting one. Um, tell me a little bit more about that. Uh, is it because I think some people would say, "Oh no, you're never supposed to bend your word." But what you're saying is that there's a context that's See, important too. The, the word that unite mm -hmm. is the truth. Mm -hmm. The word that divide is a lie. Hmm. It's all a matter of the definition. word. That's that's deep. So the word that divides is a lie. Right. The word that unites is a truth. Right. Hmm. Because you know you can define the truth according to several different traditions. Hmm. You know it's like no everything because I mean there's one aspect of life that has to do with harmony. Hmm. And that's what is prevalent in this society. Hmm. Harmony, for example, harmony, harmony is like. In Bamana, you know, I love you. How do you say that in Bamana? Nebife. Nebife. But what does it mean? It means I'm, I'm on your side. I'm on your I'm, side. I'm on your side. Mm. Mm. You know, it means I'm on your side. We're united. We're together. We are to, we are to be, I stand with you. Mm. I'm on your side. Mm. There's even a word saying, see, see, there's one aspect of it when people talk about Nyama. Mm -hmm. Because Nyama is an energy that exists in the universe and it's like you trigger that energy by by your action mm. okay you okay know, you trigger it's an energy. energy that we interact with yeah and we trigger it by our actions mm -hmm. certain actions like you know can trigger nyama mm -hmm. don't do this there's nyama in it mm. you know it's like when people are coming to your house their workers and stuff like that they all the people child don't mistreat them mm. Don't mistreat them. Mm. Nyamabala. Nyamabala. So mm. it's it's as if to say, don't be aware of the consequences of that action. Oh, right, because there are consequences of that action, but also the word itself has nyama in itself. Mm. When you keep, when you when you when you, when you lie and all that, the nyama comes after you. Because mm. the word is like it's an entity, mm -hmm. but it's also a living being. The word itself is alive. Yeah, right, exactly. And if mm. you don't, if you don't uh, respect it, mm -hmm. it won't respect you. Mm. Wow. You know, and so the one aspect of it is like Nyamakala, 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 mm -hmm. Nyamakala. It's like the, the handler of the Nyama. The handler of the Nyama is Nyamakala. The, Nyamakala, the, the Moshko. Mm -hmm. Move, you know, the knife. Oh, okay. You know, it's like, there's a pro the proverb that says that Muruta mm -hmm. Mm. Um, take the knife to cut the kala? No, the knife, the knife cannot cut his uh, handling part. Oh, okay. So a knife can't cut the handle. Right. Okay, okay. A knife can't cut its own handle. Right. Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. How so does that go in Bamana again? Muruta kalatike. Muruta kalatike. Right. So Nyamakala, Nyamakala, I mean, the, 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 the handler of the, the handler of the Nyama, they can bend it, it doesn't affect them. And uh, who are Nyamakala? I mean, how would you hear that in normal? I mean, Nyamakala is like, they, 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 are, they are the people who handle energy. You know, okay. it's like among those people, you have um, the Le Forger on the Moon. Okay. And you have also Jali. Because I've heard colloquially, mm -hmm. I've heard people refer to griots, jelly, jelly as right. nyamakala. Right, they're part of that group. They're part of it, but they're, they're not the only ones. They're part of that group. Mm -hmm. They're part of that group, but you have the numu. 
Numu are also Numu also Numu Numu also are part of that group. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting now. There is a resurgence of tradition here. Mm -hmm. You know, people are we are we are. We had some interesting time. Mm. Yeah. Um, tell me about the resurgence that you see. What are you saying? No, I mean it's like what there's a serious crisis here in Mali now. Mm. You know, it's like we want to be able to get out of the French trap, mm. you know, and uh, and eventually we'll have to get to have our own money. Mali's own monetary right. system. Absolutely. I mean, that's the way to independence. If you don't own your money, you mm -hmm. cannot claim independence. So how does Mali not own its own money? How is that happening? Well, the safer friend. Uh -huh. The safer friend, yeah. which is like in 14 African countries, Mali had his own money in the 60s, early 60s. And then, you know, there were pressures, so we had to go back into, I mean, the, 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 you know, the French monetary the system, right? Mm -hmm. You know, but now people are realizing that you cannot mm. develop yourself with somebody else's money. You can't develop yourself you, with someone else's money. You yeah. cannot. And you know, we have gold here. There's, there's enough gold here to be able to have, a, you know, something to sustain our own money. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, that's, you know, those are the challenges of the time. We were talking earlier about this and it sounded like um, you were saying this is almost like a second independence. Yeah, it is. A time of second independence is, for Mali. It is, it is. Mm -hmm. You know, each generation has a challenge. I think that's the challenge of our generation. Mm. I mean, the first generation, they were able to give us a state, to give out a flag, and to give us a lot of different things. But, you know, it's like, you have to understand that the West, which is a colonial power, is not going to give up that easily. Because no. they're entirely dependent on the continent for resources, mineral resources, and this and that. Yeah. You know, so... We've said it a couple times off camera, but um, yeah. France is number fourth in exporting gold. In, in reserve. In reserve. Uh, but they, it doesn't have a gold mine. But there's no gold in France. They so how do they get the gold? Right, right, um, right, right. You it's know? here in Mali. It's here in Mali and in all over the place. Mm. It's all over the place, but I think that this generation is really... Uh, are well aware of what the challenges are, mm -hmm. you know, and so it's mm. going to be a long road, but eventually we'll get there. We have to. Mm. What do you think that um, French people misunderstand about Mali? It's not the French people, it's the French government. The French government, okay. The French government, because I mean, it's like, that's the challenge, man, it's like, you know, they think that, uh, I don't get it. I really don't get it. If I, if, if it was up to me, even the United Nations man has to be has to be reworked, you know. That was created 60, 60 years ago, and they the still UN. have the UN. Yeah. They still have five several countries who have veto power. What mm -hmm. does it mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does it mean? I mean, it's like no. If it was up to me, we'd get out of it. Mm. Yeah, really. Mm. You know, you, I mean, it's like we have to bring everything up to the table and sit down and talk, mm -hmm. right? But you know, you know, this world needs some serious changes, and what is happening in Mali now is going to affect, you know, West Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to affect West Africa, whether they like it or not. Mm -hmm. You know. So there's a. I'm a little confused because there's there is a president in Mali, but the the military has a lot of power now too. So what's no, there was a military coup in Mali. There was a military coup here. Because what happened is that there was chaos. We were about to get into chaos. The, 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 the previous government had gotten to a roadblock. People were out in the street, you know, and so they got to a point where they destroyed the assembly. It was, gonna, it was going to get to be chaotic. Mm. And so, I mean, some, the military took over. Military took over, mm -hmm. and then they were they were told that they cannot. They have to have a civilian as head of state. Okay. They brought a civilian as head of state, which was a retired military man. Okay. But he started acting weird. Okay. You know because there was a coup within the coup. Mm. There was a coup within the coup because it seemed like some of our leaders are like more like they're formatted. As if they cannot really 
think on their own they have to follow the way the West want things to be done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and we have a problem in Mali in 2013, mm -hmm. and we have I don't know how many soldiers on Malian soil, but the problem has not been solved. It's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Yeah. You know, recently our prime minister went to the United Nations. He spoke. He spoke about the fact that things are not getting better. So what are they doing here? Right. Right. And if you ask the population, the population think that they are the problem. The French, they're, they're mostly French soldiers? No, they, you have the French soldiers, you have the MINISMA, the United Nations soldiers, but they don't get involved in stuff. Mm. So what are they here for? Mm. When they came, the problems were only in the north. Mm -hmm. Now it's everywhere, so what are they here for? Mm -hmm. And that's what the question, that's the question the population is asking itself. Yeah. yeah. Know, so it's getting to a point where, no. No, if you want to go leave, so we can find other partners to be able to solve our problems. Right, right. You hear all all this talk about, oh, they want to get Wagner, they want to get Russian mercenaries. Man, mercenaries are everywhere. In Iraq, half of the forces there were mercenaries from that South America. Mm. You know, here, yeah, you know. Mm. But it's like, it's just about time that people understand that sovereign states have to take care of their own problems. Yeah. You know, the way things were run 50 years ago cannot be the way things have to be run today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's time for a lot of those big changes oh, to happen. And, they had, um, and they're happening. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, see, the, the new generation here has an advantage because the information can... I mean, the state don't have monopoly over it anymore. Right, right. You know, Facebook, Facebook, social media. social media. I mean, it's like information flow freely. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, there is a lot of garbage in it, but still, mm -hmm. it's a way of getting information to get everywhere. Malians are pretty tuned into Facebook. Oh yeah, yeah. You think Instagram? They, you think they created that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they all kind of stuff on it, but you know, hey, the people are really aware of what what is at stake now. Mm. You know, it's like the problem, the main challenge that this government is facing is, you know. Security and corruption. Mm. Corruption. Corruption. That's mm. what. That's what was the downfall of the past regime because, you know, people would get away with anything. The past, previous regime you're talking about, um, Ibeka. Yeah, that's what was the main challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, people thought that there was not. Uh, you know, there was no. Uh, you know, people were just corruption. So, bad governance. I don't understand why people. So, in Mali, corruption is more of a problem with the politicians than the military? Both. With both? Both. Both. There's a risk. Yeah, the army was very corrupted. You know, and so all that is being worked up now. So, the army is being. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. See, the people that are in power now are all colonels. And we had so many generals, it's ridiculous. Mm. Mm. It's ridiculous, and, and I think that before this transition is over, they have to go through all of it. Right. They will have to go through all of it, and that's what the people expect, and that's what I think they will be doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not only the politicians, it's the army. Uh, it's the army, army too. The army too, yeah. Mm. They were, you know, the, 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 in the, you know, there were there were thousand, thousand, mil, 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 some milliards. A lot of money was voted by the assembly to put, to put into the army, but people don't know where the money went. Hmm. So this government, this traditional government, is going to take care of it. Mm -hmm. They have to. Mm -hmm. And that's what the people expect them to do. Mm -hmm. So, and then let's talk about like this idea of democracy for a little while. See, democracy, man, is like my... Democracy, you know, democracy is a word that, you know, is like the West brought here. Hmm. I don't believe America is not America was democratic when they still have slaves. Mm. So what? So how valuable can a democracy e actually e be? Exactly. Mm -hmm. How you know they, they had slaves and there was slavery when America called itself democratic. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of the aspects that America has is you can say that the justice system is kind of independent right. to a certain extent. Right. You know, which is a gain. Mm -hmm. But you know, hey. We have like here hundred how, how many political parties, and I don't know a state that was built by democracy, man. Mm. Mm. I don't. 
democracy is a state of when people are developed to a certain point, it can be applied. Mm. You know, so, but what we have to try to do here now is to have a justice system that is clean. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, in our traditions, you know, you take the song of Sunyata, man. I mean, it's like the democratic, the democratic ideas are in it. Mm. People can do what they feel like they want to do. Mm. You know, it's like so. You know, it's a, this new concept. If I can think, if I think about it, I will think that the only real democratic country is Iceland. Mm. In, in the Ice whole world? Yeah. Iceland. Because, they, you know, it's like they all have laws. You know, people think here democratic is one man, one vote. That's not in the US. That's not in the US. Yeah, right. So, where is it? You know, it's like Iceland, you know, you don't need... I, when they had the Panama Papers, Iceland was the only country who was able to, you know, get rid of the corrupt politicians. Hmm. You know, here, I mean, they came and they, there's a proliferation of political parties, you know, it's like... No, but I, now there is this idea of uh, recreating the new norms. Mm. You know, so all that will be worked out within this transition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, we'll have to cut down the number of political parties. Seriously. Mm. You know, and all the corrupt politicians and army men will have to go to jail. Mm. Mm. That's the only way things can happen. Man. Otherwise, it's not going to go far. Mm. Yeah, I mean, in the U.S. it's interesting because you could say that in some ways they suffer from the opposite problem. There's too few political parties that have any real traction with the populace. Yeah, because you see, so, you know, they, they say the same thing. Democrats and Republicans are not that big. You know, they're all warmongers, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, they're all warmongers. It's like, and you have like the Green Party, who's never going like, to see the light of the day. You know, it's like it's less than 5% of the population. Mm -hmm. You know, Russia went through a lot of stuff, but the US also has to look at itself, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because Republicans and Democrats, they're all war mongers. Look, yeah. at, look at the Middle East, you know, it's like it's fall apart, fell apart. Yeah. And the problem we're having here is because Gaddafi, man, Libya fell apart. Yeah. And it's Hillary. Because, yeah, so... Because without... Because Gaddafi fell mm -hmm. because of the no-flight zone that was put over Libya. Yeah, okay, so let's, let's let's go through that a little bit because I think that's important to understanding what's going on right now, yeah. right? I mean, so, Qaddafi had, you know, when Qaddafi, when Qaddafi regime fell down, you know, it's like weapons just went into the desert everywhere, man. Right. And everywhere. And Qaddafi, a lot of the Tuaregs were, were fighting with Qaddafis. So Qaddafi had given money to some of the Tuareg groups. No, Qaddafi was backed by a lot of, it, you know, a lot of Tuaregs came out of Libya to come here. Okay. And they brought weapons. I don't know how they got they got to 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 bring weapons here, but they are the ones who are fighting here. Mm -hmm. You know, because one of the first problems started among themselves. Right. You know, those who came and those who were here didn't have didn't see things the same way. Hmm. Right, right, right. I didn't see things the same way. I so mean, this is what led to all the different there was, for a minute, there was a lot of different groups in Mali that were doing there were a lot, a lot of militants. Different militants, yeah, they, they were jihadists, they were extremists. Those groups came out of nowhere, man. Mm -hmm. See, the, the Tuareg problem has always been here. But what happened the first time, like some 15, some years ago, I don't remember the exact date, is when they took Hadarok. You know, they just laid down the Malian soldiers and cut their throat, man. They took like a hard line. Hard line, right. Yeah. That was the first hard line mm -hmm. issue in, in the problem. They killed Malian soldiers. Right. They didn't shoot them, they just cut their throat. Mm. You know, and that had never happened before. Ah. That had never happened before. So it's a very complicated problem. But I think that, you know, people will find a way to, well, they'll find a way and find a solution to it. Mm -hmm. You know, because what, what everybody wants is like leaders that are clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When the leaders are clean, when there is no corruption, that's half of the battle. Yeah. You know, because I mean, how can you expect everybody to give his heart out when some people are just, you know, s you know taking money out of government mm -hmm. and nothing happens to them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what? 
What do you think music is doing to influence that transition? Music is easy. Like right now, like you have a lot of songs that are really patriotic. They are really patriotic. You know, patriotic, so songs. patriotic songs. The young generation is not seeing things the way you know all generations are looking at it. Mm -hmm. They want to be independent and they want the conditions to be clean mm -hmm. because they believe that everybody who has been involved in politics here since the 90s some people think they're responsible for the chaos that's happening mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know and so that's why when there were you know when people spoke about the transition people don't want to have elections in february mm. because in february nothing can change before that right. before we get to election there's some serious issues mm. of security issues but you have also corruption. 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 Those are the two most important issues. Mm -hmm. Once they're dealt with, then, you know, some other things can happen. Do the political parties that exist now address the youth? The political parties that exist now are like kind of being quarantined by the people. Mm. You know, because people believe that they're responsible. Mm. Yeah, people believe they are responsible. We have like over 200 political parties. Mm -hmm. You know, so, and I know that at some point they will have to reform those parties. You know, if you can't, you can't have it. Mm -hmm. Or create new ones. To create new ones, you know, mm -hmm. force people to have, you know, you know, they have to have to put several lines. You know, you have to have this to be a party, you have to have a program, you have to have an ideology. Mm. You know, it's like all those things have to happen. Yeah. But we can't navigate with this much, this many political parties here. So yeah. It's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. It's, it's impossible. It's impossible. Mm. It's impossible. Mm. So they, they, they're being quarantined by the people right now. Mm. Yeah, people are just, people don't even want to hear about it. Mm. Going back to music, um, if you're speaking to people who have listened to Malian music just like a few times, mm. what do you think you would offer them to help them kind of guide them a little bit through the experience of understanding what's going on in the music? It's different because it has to do with the person who is asking. Mm. You know, they say it's like when you have to deal with, you know, a thousand cows, you take one stick. Mm. When you deal with five people, you take five sticks. Mm. You know, because everybody has his own interest in it. Mm -hmm. There are some people who are interested in vocals, in the Jalin music. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. those are different from the people who are interested in the hunters, in the Donzo's music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and there are people who are interested in percussion. Mm. And those are people who are interested in like, the xenophone music, the Minyaka music, the xylophone music. Mm -hmm. It's like so. And you have, you know, the strange instrument, you know, the strange instrument, you have the Gwonis, and you have also the music of the North, you know, right. the Takamba, mm -hmm. it's like, because they play, you know, they play electric, electric, uh, guitars, you know, and, and, and electric Gwonis, man, oh, electric Gwonis. with distorted, that's mm -hmm. Takamba, we heard that for a long time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. you know, it's, it's very interesting, but you have so many different vibes, mm -hmm. depending on where you are. Mm -hmm. And you, of course, you have the djembe players, which is which is also a different. It's a different thing. It's a different thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, there's a, it's very diverse, man. Mm -hmm. It's very diverse. But I think that you know, you have Somalian musicians. You know, you can, you know, you have Salif. He is obviously like a friend of mine who passed. Adam, uh, may he's so rest in peace. Used to call Salif later. You know, at the library of Monday. A library, the library of Mundane. The, the Mundane Library. The Mundane Library. So yes. he's the library of all the yes. Mundane folklore. Right, right, right. Because, I mean, it's like he's been at it for such a long time. Hmm. Because Can you have, you, for example, you have the different instrument. For example, in Mundane, in the Mundane, the hunters play. What is Mundane, have, first of all? Can you. Mundane is like it's a region. Okay. You, you know, it's a region, and also it has to do with. Uh, the, the, the Mandang language. Mm -hmm. You have several region, you know, geographic region. Mm -hmm. you know, the Mandang was like the center of the of the Mali Empire. Mm -hmm. Okay, the heart of the Mali Empire. The heart of the Mali Empire. So the Mandang culture is like, 
you know, Maniga, you know, the Jalis, but have all, also the Suninke is also have their Jalis, you know. So is, is Mandang, is, what's the difference between Mandang, Maniga, and Bamana, and Sonrai? Monday, Monday is not a region, but the Monday is also a language. Okay. It's a language that's like, the Monday and the, and the Bamana are dialects. If you speak one, you understand one. Okay. Yeah. Manika and Bamana are dialects. And Bamana, yeah. If you speak Bamana, you can understand Manika. Mm -hmm. But there are some, there are several words that are really different. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know, they, you can understand both. Okay. So but those the are dialects. is completely different language. Sora is completely different. Completely different. On its own. On its own. The but Sora is different. The Minyanka is different. Yeah. You know, the Dogons is different. The, the Dogons have over a hundred dialects among the Dogons. A hundred dialects? Um, just think, to, if wow. not more. Huh. I think. And also, you see, That's amazing. You know, sometimes they can't understand each other. They have to speak in, in Fulani. <laughs> really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they speak because every Dogon, most Dogon speak Fulani. Mm. And so, last year we had a, a problem between the Dogons and the Fulani. How can that be? Yeah. How can that be? Something is started elsewhere, man. Yeah. Wow. It's like, I mean, people have lived together for thousands and thousands of years. Uh -huh. And so then they're going to start getting at each other's throat. Yeah, that's crazy. And we know how, I mean, like superpowers know how to ignite fire somewhere. Mm -hmm. Right, like, right, right. Yeah. Pit people against each other. Yeah, and, and the use of mercenary. There are people who were, were cut here in my way back then. They didn't speak any of the languages here. Mm. They spoke English. Mm. They didn't speak any of the languages. Mm. But now, I mean, people are talking and they're trying to cool down things, man. It's like... So, Mandan is the region. Mm -hmm. Monica and Bamana are dialects found in that region. No, Would they, you say that? No, not in that region. Everywhere people speak Bamana. In Wasulu, people speak Bamana. Okay, so Wasulu is not inside... No, Wasulu is... It's Mande. It's, no, it's, it's, Mande is Kankaba, Mande... You know, it's like Kibis, Bank Mana. Bank Mana you okay. Know. And you have Beledugu, which is Kati. Okay. You have Kulukani, you have the Bamanas. You know, it's like, it's, it's very different. Yeah. But the Mandi, the Mandi Empire was Sunjata Keita. Mandi Empire, Sunjata. Exactly, Sunjata, Mansa Musa. Mm -hmm. You know, which is considered to be one of the richest men ever lived. Right. You know, but the largest of the three empires was the Songhai Empire. Okay. Askia, Askia Muhammad. Askia all, Muhammad. Right. Hmm. And the Ghana Empire was the first of the empires. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like that was Kayamagan Sisi, those were the Sunin case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in that era, were inside the Ghana Empire, were there still, there must have been different ethnicities then, even within that same oh, yeah. empire. But they, they were, they were. Yeah, that was the beauty of it. All those empires had different ethnic groups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And different ethnic groups, you know, it's like people having, you know, you run and, and mix together for a long time. Mm. For a long time. Mm. Hmm. You know? There must be some connection though. You Earlier you were saying um, some words translate between... Excuse me. <coughs> Bless me. Between... Um, there's a last name in, in, in Ghana that you that yeah. comes from... Yeah, Jurubate. 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 Yeah, Jurubate, you know, it's like I have a friend, a good friend, you probably knew him, Jip Nudano. Mm. Jip Nudano, his wife's name mm. was Jurubate. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. So, so Jurubate mm. over there is Jabate here. Jabate. In Gambia, they say it like that too, right? Jobate. Yeah, Jobate, Jobate exactly. Jobate. It, because of the English influence in mm. the language. Mm -hmm. The English influence in your language, Gambia is, you know, English speaking, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, but it's the same people. Mm -hmm. How's the battery? Ten. Okay. okay. We'll leave it some to go. Yeah, so many uh, things we call no, little no. by little. Nine. Yasin. Ah, little by little. Bajan kuyate. Bambanam bli. Hey everyone, Eric from Orchestra Gold here. If you're this deep into the conversation, I have a sneaking suspicion that you're enjoying yourself. It was a labor of love putting these together. And another thing we'd love is your support. Blessings are always welcome. And if you're in a place to do monetary support, 
we do have some lovely vinyl that we spent a lot of time putting together. I really think you're going to like it. It's got all the best songs that we've put out there over the last few years, including some unreleased music that you've probably never heard before. Link to that is below in the description. I wish you well. Sending my very best. Take care and enjoy. <laughs>